Hello everyone, it's Joe here, and this is the next episode of the VR Chronicles. We are going to be playing Project Cars. Okay, so I promised, now I'm delivering. Uh, we're going to be doing Project Cars in Oculus Mode. It took a little while to get this set up. Um, if you're curious on how to set this up or how to get it ready, uh, first thing you want to do is do um, Extended Mode because it does not work directly to the Rift. Um, I had to do landscape mode flipped. Some people are saying they have to do it portrait. That's what I had to do to get it set up. But anyway, um, yeah, make sure your stuff's all calibrated. I would suggest turn, turning down your settings and seeing uh, how it runs. You want to make sure that you get that 75 frames a second in the headset in the headset before you really start getting into the game in earnest. The only way I was able to do that is to turn down the settings quite a bit. Um, and I'm not running a slouch of a PC either. I am running uh, a pretty nice i7, uh, one of the newest i7s with a GTX 980, but I had to turn it down in order to get uh, 75 frames a second inside the headset. So yeah, it's the first thing you're going to want to do. Um, there's a couple of command lines that can help you out with that. I know there's a way for you to turn off the crowds, um, and that gives you quite a, quite a bit of extra frames a second. Um, next one is turn off grass and stuff like that. Um, there are some articles, maybe I'll link them below, but basically turn it down, make sure you got, um, decent enough frames a second in order to get it in the headset. So yeah, let's do this. Um, also another thing, the menus are not Oculus ready. And normally if you just use one left and one right, you can kind of see what you're doing if you know what you're doing. But if not, uh, the solution that people are using right now is by using OBS. Um, and capturing and then I'm looking at it right now I'm looking at it on my desktop and I can just sort of like I'm using it to capture this game right now anyway so this helps but if you're not um, it wouldn't hurt to download OBS and just have it running so you can see the menus because if I had to see the menus in here I wouldn't be able to see everything so yeah we're going to be doing uh, a quick race with my favorite car the BMW E30 uh, 1991 really nice whip uh, I did, for the last Let's Play, I did Dubai. I'm going to do it again just because I know it, and this is going to be a lot different considering I'm using the Oculus headset. So, yeah, hopefully this works. And, uh, pretty much when I press Start Race, it'll start. It'll go into Oculus mode. Okay, so I'm all set up now. I'm all zoomed in to the one eye. I'm going to use the cockpit view for full immersion. I have a, T sorry, a Thrustmaster T300 RS wheel. It's also comp compatible with PS3 and PS4 in front of me. Um, it's really nice. It's got the force, force feedback. It's a pretty quiet little uh, piece. So I'm going to have full immersion when I jump in here. So I'm going to try and talk, uh, but don't expect a lot out of me. This is going to be a little let's play. Um, no impressions or anything. Just playing the game. No review or anything like that. So... Yeah, let's let's see if this works. This is my first race in the Oculus Rift, playing Project Cars. I'm very excited, so I'm going to get all in here, get all set up. All right. Nice. Car looks very good. Pedals are good. Oh, let me let me get reset. There we go. Now I'm comfortable. Nice. All right, so we're here. I'm leaning back in the chair. Uh, I'm trying to get the full immersion, so I'm like kind of sitting back a little bit. I'm gonna reset the camera. There we go. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, so far this looks good. I mean, a little bit of jaggies. I had to turn off most of the anti uh, aliasing just because I needed 75 frames a second in order to get the headset to look good. So. Um, it's not as pretty as it would be regularly, but at the same time, it still looks very good. I'm still very immersed in the VR experience. I feel like I'm in a car. Um, this is good. So full disclosure, I'm playing this without any assists. Uh, I put this on pro, which means there's no like road assist. There's no, uh, there's no braking assist. There's no steering assist. Power braking is off. Um, like anti-lock brakes, all that stuff is all off. So, and the drivers are pro. So, I wanted to go for the full immersion. I wanted to go for the experience where I felt like I was really driving a car. And so far, it's going pretty good. Uh, I know this track a little bit. I've, I've raced on it a couple of times without the Oculus. 
so that's kind of helping me a little bit. Um, the first time I played this, I got blown out of the water. So, so far, it's pretty. I'm looking around. I'm inside my little cockpit. It's, it's nice. Uh, I don't find myself necessarily looking around as much. I'm not that... Oh, buddy, relax. I'm not that worried about the other drivers. Because I don't really... I'm not... You know, I'm, this is a demo. But I, I have a feeling that the head tracking is going to come in... Be invaluable to people that really want that driving experience. That want to like... Oh, man. That want to look around and they want to enjoy it. Okay, they've got a little bit of pressure from the guy behind. So there you go. Start the um... Line. Yeah, for, for people that really want that sim experience where they want to be able to see who is next to them, it's awesome. It's so good. I kept the sun flare, glare on. I feel like that adds to the immersion a little bit to have that realistic lighting. Uh, it was actually recommended to turn it off just because it adds to the graphical intensity of the game. But I, I felt when, without it, it lacked some immersion. Um, and isn't that the name of the game? I want to feel like I'm in a real car. So far, this is going pretty well. I don't know what place I'm in. Uh, because I don't have any, like, heads-up display stuff inside the headset. Um, I'd rather go for the immersion than actually knowing. And honestly, does it matter? I'm having fun. I just passed a guy very well, actually. That was pretty good on my part, I have to say. I'm gonna pat myself on the back later when I'm not in VR. That was a nice little passage of play there. Um, I love this car too. I'm just the whole thing. This whole experience is really nice. Don't there you go. I'm blown away by this. Actually, this is awesome. This is what VR is. This is what VR should be. I've been doing how many? How many games? Oh man. I'm getting all excited now. How many games have I done now where I've, I've I've enjoyed them, but like, this is this is so this is what VR should be all the time. And those other experiences have been great, but I feel like I'm in a car. You know, I got the wheel in front of me. I wish I had the shifter. That's sort of what's taking me out right now. Is I'm not reaching down and shifting. Um, but this is very pretty, man. That was good. I actually think I did okay. I, I can't tell uh, what place did I come in. Hold on, I'm gonna try and find the mouse. What if I was like in last and I was just talking all that shit? I was in eighth. That's not bad. Eighth place is not bad. I'm press four seventeen. Um, that was really cool though, man. That was awesome. I, I'm gonna pick another car, something a little bit more, um, a little bit quicker. And see if I can't, you know, feel even more immersed and be a little scared by the speed of it. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna find another car that's a little bit faster, and let's let's uh let's do another race. Alrighty, so we're doing our second race here. We're driving the Audi R8 V10. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we're doing it in Germany. Let's let's uh let's do this. Okay, let me reset here. I got good I got good position to start here. This is nice. This car is so much quicker. Oh my goodness. This might be a bad thing. Um I know this track. So the other thing I guess that's tough is Because you because you're playing wow, that was a really bad turn. Because you're playing an Oculus Rift, you don't have any heads up display stuff. And that changes a lot especially in a game like this where you know I mean granted it's a racing sim so f most hardcore players are gonna know the tracks fairly well after a couple tries but this is tough I'm, I'm I can't predict turns because I'm not I can't see them on the heads of display that's like a big part of racing games is being able to see what's what's gonna happen next and I haven't been able to do that yet which is interesting I'm being super, super cautious so I don't fly off the track. Um, I'm actually doing okay. I got some guys behind me here. Um, yeah, this is pretty, man. This is really fun. I have a feeling I'm going to be playing a lot of this. 
Um, I wonder. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna try and do after this demo is try to step up the graphic settings and see how high I can get it without having to, you know, like without having to sacrifice. Qual like how high I can get it without having with. To, ugh. I can't even talk in the VR. I'm gonna keep stepping up the settings and seeing how high I can get them without ruining the oculus ex experience um that's gonna be really i'm curious about that how high i can go settings wise without having to be completely sick afterwards i'm gonna run off the track here and try and pass this guy because i'm an asshole give me a warning i don't care i didn't get a warning there that was nice i'll take it all right cool so um, so far it's running, running very good, very well. Let me reset here, nice. Um, this one has paddle shifters, so I feel more immersed. I could over, this, this head, this uh, headset, this wheel has, oh my gosh, fucking hell, this turn always kills me. Uh, this wheel has paddle shifters and I can just override it at any time, but I feel like whenever I try and override, I mess up this guy's flow. And uh, I end up doing more harm than good. It's either it's either all or nothing. I feel like. Sorry, I'm, it's hard to it's hard to like talk. Oh my gosh, you bastard! It's hard to talk while you're in Oculus and while you're trying to concentrate on this jerk trying to pass all the time. So my apologies. I'm not, I'm not making a lot of sense, but I will say that that has something to do with how. I'm, immersed I am right now in this experience so it's probably a good it's a probably a good sign I'm like in here this is great oh man oh shit brakes locked up there because I was hammering on them all right I'm gonna try my little trick from last time and uh, cut through Oh no. Damn it. Now this guy's coming up behind me. Damn it. Shit. I had this one in the bag and now I'm sort of letting it go. Alright, let's see if I can catch up on my little shortcut here. Oh, look at that. Cut right across, you scum. Let's see if I can win this race. Holy shit, I'm going to win. Yes! Victory is mine. Yes. That's the first race I've won in this game. That's awesome. There you go, folks. I won a freaking race. Press 4 417. That's me on the top there. Um, I'm going to take the headset off and talk to you people. Yes. That was awesome. Um, sorry for my talking. That was real. I was just so psyched and so immersed in the game that I was like finding it hard to muster words while I was trying to concentrate on this race. Um, that was really cool. That was awesome. Um, okay, you know what? We're gonna end on that note. This has been. I'm gonna do more of these, but this is all you get for now. It's it's pretty late. Um, I wanted to get this out as soon as possible because I got a code over the weekend. So. There you have it. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, my name is Joe, and I work for Shack News. And, um, yeah, you can catch this video and another Let's Play over on ShackNews.com. Thanks.